It's hard to imagine a time when you couldn't immediately capture an important event and share it with the rest of the world. But in the late 1800s, it was actually the artists, not the cameras, that was telling the story of what was happening then. Intrigue in the Old West was on the rise, even as the era was coming to a close. Frederick Remington was at the forefront of helping to maintain this image forever. Working for Harper's Weekly, a popular New York political magazine, Remington's illustrations brought the stories of the West back to the East. His works are narratives. Each tells a story, but not too much. Remington believed it was more about what he left out than what he added, giving the viewer the opportunity to draw their own conclusions and finish the story for themselves, like this one. Most people say this illustration depicts a training exercise with the U.S. Cavalry. But if you ask me, this gentleman here just walked into the dealership and is test driving a new horse. But it doesn't look like it's going well. Remington was such an influence within the artist community that other well-known Western artists like Charles Russell and Charles Schreibogel studied his work and were called members of the, quote, School of Remington. You can see a glimpse of the Old West through Remington's illustrations here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.